A mixed bag to report on the job front at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Yeah, base officials expecting hundreds of jobs to leave and hundreds more to come to wright Pat. This Center 7's Letitia Perry joins us with a look at the numbers. Letitia. Not to worry, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is still a viable, important part of the national defense landscape, so says Congressman Mike Turner. Right. It was, I think overall there were around 500 jobs uh, or positions that uh, would be shifted at wright Pat, an additional 300 uh, that would be added. Uh, so th our focus will be, you know, how can we find additional positions for the people who uh, might be displaced uh, in other growth areas that could occur right Pat. We talked with people in the base area today about the potential losses. As far as the uh, services go, there's a lot of private individuals that can go out and do the job and probably cheaper than the Air Force can. You know, I think that uh, I think the whole ship needs to be tightened up myself. As reported earlier this week, 598 civilian jobs are leaving by the end of September, but 364 positions are being added by officials by October of this year. That reduces the overall downsize numbers to just over 200 jobs. So as part of that uh, managing that reduction, uh, the Air Force has uh, offered a voluntary early retirement uh, authority and voluntary separation incentive programs to help reduce and manage that workforce reduction. Right, Pat is the area's largest employer with a workforce of nearly 27,000, both civilian and military. But this workforce downsize only equates to about 2% of the civilian workforce. Those are not extreme cuts, although, um, uh, like I said, if it's your position that's being uh, cut, uh, again, we have vacancies uh, here at Wright-Patterson, so, um, so perhaps the impact won't be as much. The reduction at wright Pat, however small, comes as a result of the president's call to reduce federal defense spending at bases nationwide. Larry, News Center 7.